What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. Today we finally got some information about the Tribunal event. Of course, the Tribunal event is Clockwork City and Morrowind kind of uh, celebration event, you know, for both the DLCs releasing. They kind of do this every year with all the different DLCs, but considering we have so many now, they have decided to combine Clockwork City and Morrowind event. I will link all this information down in the description. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, the Tribunal event will begin on February the 25th at 10 a.m. Eastern and run until March the 9th at 10 a.m. Eastern. During this event, you can get double reward boxes for uh, Zone Daily Quest and Trial Quest and either, of course, Clockwork City or Morrowind. Increased rewards from Harvest Nodes, World Delve, and Trial Bosses will drop an additional loot when defeated. Public Dungeon and World Bosses have a chance to drop a new tradable style page and the final boss in both Asylum St. Torum and Halls of Fabrication have a guaranteed chance to drop a tradable uh, style page from the new uh, style you know, page that will be released, the new outfit style during this event. Also, you get Tribunal Coffers that offers great uh, reason to return to these regions. Uh, within the container, you will have a chance to receive uh, some of these different items, crafting materials, overland set items from both the zones, style pages, and in rare cases, an entire motif chapter uh, from Ashlander, Moratong, Telvinian, uh, Halul, Ebon Shadow, and Clockwork Apostle styles. Uh, also, Transmute Crystals, the Vardenfell or Clockwork City treasure maps, the Slag Town Skin Rune Box, which will be tradable, which is new. Also, a new Memento, which will be tradable as well and the new pet that will be a tradable as well so these things can come in this box and of course the pet will be in fragments uh, you know things you're going to collect things like that but all the new items are tradable uh, within the game even better the first time you complete a daily quest each day you'll receive a tribunal coffer tribunal coffers contain the same items as their regular uh, counterparts but have a higher chance of receiving some of the rare items such as the skin memento or the pet fragments finally during the event the regular tribunal coffer also has a chance to drop randomly from various zone activities including defeating zone bosses looting objects and even slaying random monsters he says if you have yet to explore the island of vardenfell or clockwork city you can find them both on sale in the crown store at 50 percent off from february the 25th until the uh, until march the 9th when the event ends and it says that during this uh, event uh, in the same period, the Crown Store will also feature both of the new uh, weapon packs and Mother Morrowind's uh, music box, and add bringing or will bring, be bringing back the Dwarven Crown crates as well. Also, during this event, you know we'll be able to have the event, so you can get event tickets and things like that. So you can earn two event tickets per day, either one event ticket from the first Vardenfell daily quest of any kind you turn in, and one event ticket from the first Clockwork City daily quest of any kind that you turn in the event timer resets at 1 a.m eastern each morning of course you can only hold 12 as a limit a kind of cap so make sure you use them because if you do not use those tickets if you have 12 you go do a daily you turn it in you will not get that 13th ticket you'll just lose it so of course we do have the new pet we have the new skin all the new stuff that is of course at the event vendor so be sure that you're using those tickets and make sure that you're doing two daily quests in each of these or you know making sure you're doing two daily quests each day one in each zone so you can get your events tickets of course this time at the event vendor You'll have, of course, the flint, the striker, and the smoldering tender for the pet itself. Uh, the first two Deadland Scorcher skin fragments, uh, Slack Town skin, and some other things that you can get, you know, of course, within the event itself. You can purchase with these tickets, also group repair kits, that kind of stuff. Kind of the same thing we always get, but make sure, you know, if you're working on this uh, new pet, the new skin, things like that, you do have to buy the pet every time you know when you turn it into something so if you turn this pet into the skin you'll have to go back in and buy the pet fragments again for the little glowing orb you know that follows us around before you can go into the next kind of process of uh things you can unlock kind of like we they you know kind of like we had with the endrix you know you had to buy the base one every time before you were able to upgrade it anyway guys like i said uh, if you want to read about all of this stuff it will be linked down in the description below if you'd like to read over the entire kind of uh, you know, info or kind of, you know, informational page that Zoss did put out. Of course, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you liked it, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.